What's up you guys, welcome to XJ Jesse's channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace a fuel filter on your Jaguar XJ6 X300 and uh, make sure to bring plenty of rags. So let's get to it. The fuel filter is located up underneath the driver's side rear wheel. Loosen the wheel lug nuts. Lift the car from underneath the center suspension cage and support it on jack stands. Over time, the breeze could clog up the fuel filter, causing the fuel pump to work harder and lead to a breakdown. To prevent that from happening, replace the fuel filter every 2 years or 30,000 miles, whichever comes first. Use a 16mm stubby wrench to loosen the fuel line, but don't completely remove it yet. To give you more access to loosen the second fuel line, you can remove the exhaust bracket. Remove two 13mm nuts. With both fuel line nuts loose, next loosen the 8mm bolt securing the mounting bracket. You don't have to remove the bolt, just loosen it enough to slide the filter out. Before removing the fuel lines, lay plenty of rags on top of the exhaust pipe and have a catch pan underneath to catch the fuel spills. You have to work fast since the fuel keeps pouring out and it's very annoying. I had to push the fuel filter out of the bracket to remove the second fuel line. I quickly replaced the fuel line o-rings. You have to purchase them separately, they don't come with the new fuel filter. When installing the new filter, pay close attention to the directional flow arrow. It should be pointing out. With the new filter installed, spray the exhaust pipe with soapy water to clean the fuel spill. Do this a couple times. Before starting the jack, turn the key to the on position three times so fuel can flow back in the lines and check for leaks. If you guys found this video helpful, please select that like button. And if you personally want to support this channel, there is a donation link in the video description, or you can purchase a super thanks. All donations will be used for tools and parts to make more videos for you guys. And of course, you're not obligated to donate. By the way, you guys, replacing the fuel filter on the X300 was extremely annoying. Fuel just kept pouring out, and I honestly don't know why, what was the reason for it to just to keep constantly pouring out. Usually, only the fuel that spills out is the one that's inside the fuel filter, but this time, that wasn't the case. I'm assuming it was probably because it had a full tank, but I'm not quite sure. Hopefully, you guys have a different experience, um, and let me know in the comment section how everything goes. Hope you all have a great day. Till next time. Late.